Solving problems involving permutation, specifically problems uh, about permutations that contains restrictions. So in problem solving, when we say restriction, these are conditions in which we have to consider them first before uh, arriving with the correct answer. Okay, so let's start with example number one. Mrs. Escoto wants to arrange the seats of five boys and four girls of ten matatag. In how many ways can five boys and four girls be arranged on a bench if letter A there are no restrictions. Take note of the word no res of the words no restrictions. So kapag no restrictions siya, ang pinaka is to find the value of your n. Okay, n is the total number of objects that we are dealing with in the problem. Ilan yon? So, meron tayong 5 boys and 4 girls. That is 5 plus 4, which is equivalent to 9. So, the value of n is 9. Okay, if n is 9, automatically proceed with the factorial representation in which what is n factorial. So, n factorial now is 9 factorial. Okay, now next, evaluate 9 factorial. So, evaluating 9 factorial, that means you have to multiply 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So, 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. If you will be computing that, 9 factorial now is equivalent to 362,000. 880. So therefore, there are 362,880 ways on how how Mrs. Escoto will arrange the seats of five boys and four girls of 10 matatag provided there are no restrictions. Okay? Now next, boys, or letter B, boys and girls alternate. So the, the, the next restriction is that uh, the seating arrangement must be boys and girls alternate. Okay, remember that we have five boys and four girls. Anong arrangement ang possible natin? Ulitin lang natin, meron tayong apat, uh, should I say, meron tayong limang boys, meron tayong apat na girls na uupo sa sham na upuan or nine seats in which they must be seated alternately. So, unayin natin yung boys. So, boy muna, and then girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl and boy so let's count it one two three four five so lot ng five boys nakaupo na one two three four yung four girls nakaupo na so is this arrangement acceptable are the boys and girls alter alternately seated yes so this is acceptable next arrangement what if unayin natin yung girls muna so girl tapos boy girl boy girl boy, girl, boy. Now, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, yung apat na girls natin seated na, nakaupo na. 1, 2, 3, 4. Apat pa lang na lalaki nakaupo. So, ibig sabihin, the last seat or the ninth seat, sino ang upo? Ang upo dyan ay lalaki ulit. Tama? So, let's isolate this. So, yung eighth seat natin at saka yung ninth seat natin, parehong lalaki ang nakaupo. Okay, so ibig sabihin, these two boys are seated uh, beside each other. Okay, in which, kinontradict na niya yung ating restriction, yung ating condition na dapat yung boy at saka girl nakaupo alternately. Okay, so therefore, our second arrangement, itong arrangement natin nito is considered not acceptable. Okay, bakit ulit siya not acceptable? Kasi, dun sa natitirang two seats natin, valid uh, dun sa natitirang two seats natin, yung dalawang boys may chance na magkatabi. Okay? So, hindi yun considered, hindi yun acceptable kasi sabi sa condition, dapat yung babae at lalaki ay alternate. Okay? So, meron lang tayong isang arrangement. And with that, we will now proceed with our solution. So, sabi niya, boy, boy and girl natin, B and G na lang. Okay? Boys and girl will be alternate. Okay? Next, unahin natin yung number of boys. So, that is 5. And then, factorial representation lang tayo, 5 factorial, times number of girls, 4, and then factorial lang. And then, times the arrangement, number of arrangement. Ilan ang arrangement natin na acceptable? Ito, this arrangement is acceptable. Correct? So, ilang arrangement ito? Isa. 
if that is 1, that is convertible to 1 factorial. Okay? So, 1 factorial. And then, 5 factorial, that is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And 1 factorial is simply 1. Correct? 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, that is 120. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, that is 24. And times 1. So, 120 times 24 times 1, that is equivalent to 2,000. 2,880. So, therefore, Mrs. Escoto has 2,000 and 880 ways on how to arrange boys and girls, but provided they must be seated alternately. Okay? So, recap tayo. Andale. Purahin ko lang ito. Dito kasali. So, recap, recap tayo. Letter B. Boys and girls alternate. So, we have five boys and four girls. So, ito lang ang arrangement natin. Boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy. Wala nang iba. So, we have one arrangement. Now, next. Boy and girl alternate. Paano naging five times four times four times three times three? Ganito yon. So, meron tayong nine seats. Nine seats yon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, meron tayo 9 seats. Now, next, yung boy at saka girl, alternate sila. So, unahin natin yung boy. Ito lang kasi ang acceptable natin. So, boy una. Okay? So, yung isang boys natin, nagamit na. Okay? Nakaupo na yung isang boy. Okay? Next, sa babae naman, nakaupo na yung isa. Yan. Next, yung sa pangatlong seat, sino lang ang pwedeng umupo dyan? Babae o lalaki? lalaki, okay? So, upo yung lalaki dyan. E kaso, nakaupo na yung isa. So, pang ilang lalaki na yung nakaupo? Pangalawa. Okay? Next, susunod, girl naman ito, yung isa nakaupo na. So, upo na din yon. Okay? Next, yung boy naman natin, isa, dalawa na yung nakaupo. So, pangatlong lalaki na ito na nakaupo. Okay? Next, si girl naman, pang ilang girl na to na nakaupo? 1, 2, 3. Tama? So, meron na lang tayo natitirang dalawang babae niya na uupo. Or should I say, eto 1, 2, 3, eto na yung isa sa dalawang natitirang babae na hindi pa nakaupo. E, inupo na natin siya. Okay? Next, boy naman. So, meron tayong isa, dalawa, tatlong lalaking nakaupo. So, sa lima, ilan na lang yon May dalawa na lang lalaki dito. O pwedeng umupo. Ah, next, girl naman dito. Ayan, nakaupo na lahat ng girls. And then, boy naman dito, la, nakaupo na lahat ng girls. Okay? Next, saan naman naggaling itong times 1 dito? Ang times 1, ito yung arrangement natin na isa. Ito yon Okay? So, yon Times 1 mo lang yan. Okay? So, e, uh, using fundamental counting uh, principle, that is just simply 5 factorial times 4 factorial. Times 1 factorial. Ayan mo yung 1 factorial, that is just equivalent to 1. Okay? 5 factorial times 4 factorial is 2,880. So, there are 2,880 ways on how boys and girls will be seated alternately. 